God loves us so much that he gave his only son for us. That we can have hope. That we can have life abundantly. You know, this week, um, as I was getting ready one morning, I heard, um, I usually turn the television on and listen to Day Star or God TV or one of them, but I was listening to a minister and he's pretty, he's pretty bold. He just blatantly says what the truth is. And uh, sometimes, you know, the truth, we don't want to hear it. And I heard him say this, and I thought, and I'm telling you, have you ever heard someone say something that just slaps you right in the face? <laughs> just like right in. And I heard him say that people had asked him, how do you hear God's voice? God always talks to you. Why doesn't he talk to me? And he said, he looked at him, he said, you know, it, it really amazes me. You can have no trouble listening to the enemy's voice. You don't have any trouble of listening to the lies that he tells you that you're shame, you're guilty, you're a failure, you're depressed, all those feelings, you, you, you don't have any trouble listening and hearing that. He said, when those things come up, you stop and say, in the name of Jesus, I won't listen to that, but I have a king to keep. You open your word of God and I guarantee you, he'll speak to you. Through his word or through the spirit, you will hear God's voice. And how many times have I listened to the lies of the enemy. How many times have I got up and I felt not feeling good or maybe a little down or maybe a little depressed? You know what? I tell you what, I make a proclamation today when I get to feel like that, I'm going to tell the enemy what, where he belongs. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to stand up and say, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to renew my mind. I'm going to let the Lord have control of my mind and my thoughts. I'm going to listen to him. You know, in First Peter, I think it's chapter 1. It talks about how that we have hope in Jesus. Right here it says, Praise be to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In His great mercy, He has given us new birth into this living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And in His inheritance, we have an inheritance that can never perish, never spoil, or never fade. Keep its kept in heaven for you. Are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is to be revealed in the last days. It is time for us to rejoice that He's coming. Then over in 2 Peter 1, he talks about the hope that we have. And, and I, I don't know about you guys, but the Lord is really supposed to be. It really does count the way we live.
he'll strengthen us. And in our weakness, he makes us strong. Thank you, Jesus. As we give our tithe and offering this morning, we give it as part of our praise and worship to him. Lord, as we come before your throne, you said come before it boldly. God, knowing that we know, that we know who we believe in, that we know that when we come to you, things will happen. God, when we know that when we come to you, we can speak to mountains and they will move. When we come to you with an humble heart, we can't help but know the will of the Father. Lord, I pray that you put in every one of us this morning as we speak a boldness to speak up for you, a boldness to live our lives according to what you've called us to live. God, a godliness and brotherly love, perseverance and self-control. Lord, let those guide our lives, Lord, that we can be open-minded and we can be not nearsighted, but God, we can be productive in what you've called us to do. God, I pray blessings on everyone as we give this morning. We lift it up to you as part of our praise and worship in Jesus' name.